This segment brought to you by Heinen Brothers Ag. Farmers helping farmers by offering quality aerial and ground application, fertilizer, ag chemicals, and anhydrous ammonia. Call today to protect your crop yield. Good morning, Heather. Well, we started uh, Beef Today's Cowboy College. We launched it last year with the help of Dr. Dan Thompson. Uh, first Cowboy College was in Omaha. It was specifically for uh, feed yard employees, uh, pen riders, processing crews. Uh, we've had two cowboy colleges this year, one for cow-calf operators in the Denver area and uh, this one here this week in Wichita, again for feedlot operators, feedlot cowboys, uh, pen riders and so forth. Uh, the focus primarily is on animal health and animal welfare, animal well-being. Uh, uh, the stars of the program have been Dr. Dan Thompson, Dr. Knopfsinger and Dr. Appley from Kansas State. It's really important to offer these types of educational opportunities for small groups of cattle and uh, people, uh, numbers about a hundred. Uh, it really provides opportunities for interaction between uh, the veterinarians who really are world-renowned veterinarians and actual working feed yard cowboys. Uh, as we know, some, there are some issues that are high priority for some of the actives that would like to limit uh, animal agriculture. So when you have veterinarians that understand the issues of antibiotics and antibiotic residues, and, and Dr. Apley himself has uh, just been named to the President's Council on uh, animal uh, antibiotic use in animals. Uh, so it's not every day that these cowboys get a chance to interact. A small group like this gives them the one-on-one -on -one opportunity for uh, um, interaction with the veterinarians and also there's some networking that goes on here. Uh, how do things work in one feed yard and how do they work for people in other? Uh, you know, it's just a great opportunity for networking. Program has uh, not been set for next year, but we will have two cowboy colleges again. Uh, the information you can be found at btoday.com slash cowboy college or um, go online and uh, look up a way to email us directly. We started farming in 1970. It was harder work then than it is now. A lot more physical work and the wear and tear on my knees and my body. Now here I'm 70 years old. Well, I started having knee pain here four or five years ago. And so I was looking for a stem cell clinic and all, lo and behold, my good friend John Farley and, and Ken Wood, who'd been customers and, and friends for a, for a number of years, opened their clinic. And in about two months, my heel was a lot better. And, and then at the end of three months, and then going on four, why my knee started making significant improvement. And it's sure been a blessing because before I had the stem cells, well, I'd be driving a tractor. And if I sat in a tractor for two or three hours, when I got out, I'd have to to stop and get the kinks out of my knee and shake it. And uh, today, I, that's not a problem. <laughs>